Since Paris Elf is available to play on Roblox the coming days, I want to share a tutorial with y'all. So starting off, when you load into the game, you will spawn somewhere around here and you will be left with nothing but a Glock. Now this Glock is not yet to start shooting. You actually gotta unclog the Glock by pressing R. So press R and now you're able to shoot. The Glock can also jam if you shoot too many times and something goes wrong inside of it. Then you basically hit R again. Now, how do you get a car, you might ask? Well, they haven't added the car dealership yet, but at the moment, you can pick a few cars around the map. These ugly looking cars, they are prop cars, so not actual gameplay playable cars. The cars in which you can see inside of, those are the cars that are drivable. So now for the civilian team, the cars are pretty easy to start. You simply press the engine button and now you're actually in gear already. These cars are automatic and really simple to use. However, that's not the case with the police side of perspective. So at the moment, there is really nothing you should be worrying about in game more than getting shot of course now i do notice there's a hunger slash thirst system which i don't know if it actually works or not yet since the game is so new it will be constantly updated with new parts being added to the map and new teams tools vehicles etc in the future i also think that the cars must be refueled after driving for a while so now that's simply the civilian side so far now i want to show you the other perspectives so currently there are only two teams available to play and it's the sheriff's team and citizen team so for the sheriff's team you basically say team slash sheriff in the chat so basically let's do a copy and paste and it will say team slash sheriff here now you might be confused because you won't directly get into the team so what you gotta do is reset your character now once you've resetted your character you will immediately be inside the police department or the sheriff's department more like so in here you also start off pretty basic for some reason you're also given the casual normal glock you have a beautiful flashlight which works perfectly fine you have a hold system in which you can grab people with you have an oc spray which is terrible if you're hit with it you have a baton which you can punch people with really funny to do some police brutality to it and then you got a search tool in which you can search people with now that's only a few of the tools you can get here so what you want to do is walk up to this door and you want to press it your screen will turn black but then you will be inside the police department in here there's a bunch of different rooms but only two are important so run until you see the gym get inside the gym and then inside the locker room and in here you can find all the gear but well, that's not entirely it so there are two sections here is for the standard uniforms and police gear and over here in this section we got the cane and SWAT stuff. Now there isn't a lot to grab over here but you can grab whatever kind of casual fit you want. You can put on a vest here for example. You can grab a uniform if you like to and that's pretty cool right? But then there's also this jacket that you can add on to yourself which is actually really cool because it has this kind of feature up here in which you can actually put on stuff so XM gloves, normal gloves, a hood. You see you can even put on the hood here and you can also put on a traffic vest. So that's awesome with this jacket that's sitting here on the wall now if you want the guns then you should basically head back to the normal place area and in here you can also find duty belts and you can even customize the duty belts to your liking so you can basically change how your mags are positioned how all the stuff is positioned on your duty belt and to show this i can basically press something here you will see something changes this changes and it's really cool to see so now you can also pick a few handguns in here now there is a huge selection and you can pick any anyone you like here you can even pick everyone so if i choose a few here we can grab a few glocks a few smith and wesson and, and a few six hours you're gonna be able to see that our inventory is kind of filling up with different guns now all these guns have different customizations here we got the normal glock pretty nice here we got a similar normal glock here we got a glock but with a red dot sight really love this one then we got another type of gun which i'm not sure if it's the six hour or the smith and wesson but this thing also has a red dot sight and looks really good and then we got another one which is very similar to that one now there's even more guns in here but i'm not going to go through all of them so the next room you really want to know about is the room which can be found right outside the locker room so you just continue down the corridor and you will find the logistics section in here you will find ars shotguns and the shotguns actually have different looks now i'm not too sure if there's anything different with them but probably so you can see here we got one of the ars really amazing stuff and it has different modes of course it has full auto it has semi and yeah 
pretty awesome then here we have a shotgun which is really amazing because who doesn't like a little shotgun very realistic guns by the way i really like how these look yeah so the difference between the shotguns is that one has the buck rounds and one has the slug rounds this is the shotgun with the slug rounds and this is the one with the buck rounds oops i gotta reload now i also forgot to mention that in here you can put on your radio so you basically just issue yourself with one of these radios whichever you like and you can choose which variant and you can also add the helmets and the accessories so if you want some glass and put those on if you want a ballistic helmet and put that on <laughs> look how good we look man it's almost like we're right control right now so the next thing you should know about is the actual vehicles section so you basically walk down the corridor till you find a door called motor pool this is very simple because out here you will find a bunch of different vehicles right so when you choose a vehicle you simply head up to it and you walk inside of course you gotta open the door by pressing it and you will see this little sign pop up where it says car spawn change log so once you're done with a vehicle you say slash dv for the car to respawn else the game will just be lagging for everyone and the cars are very very different from the civilian ones so for example you can put in your rifle here in a rack so if you hold g your rifle will be put in a rack somewhere in there yep you can see it right there oops my bad now for your shotgun you can place that one on the other side so in the second rack you see they're both there now really cool stuff now all the doors are entered and as you can see even this little trunk works fine so in here you can actually grab a beanbag shotgun if you have one you can grab police tape and a bunch of different stuff this is really amazing to see very realistic police cars so what i told you all about the difference between the civilian and police cars in the game is that these are not automatic at all these are really hard to control cars unless you know what you're doing so first of all once you get inside you want to press e that's just to start the vehicle you'll see that you're in neutral still however before going into non-neutral you want to press q to put on your seatbelt because you're a cop next thing you want to do is press shift and this is how you drive forward so basically all you got to do is press shift to drive forward and now you're able to fully drive like a normal person now if you want to go back you can't just hold s and drive backwards no that's not gonna work you're gonna have to press control twice and this will enter the backing mode in which you can actually go back of course you steer your rear vehicle with a d s and w still so if you want to drive forward you use w but you got to get into the drive mode by pressing shift once or twice now if you want to put on some lights then press j and this basically turns on the lightning now there's stage one stage two stage three and this comes as if you press the same button three times you also have a little spotlight if you didn't notice so on your right side you will see this little menu you can press on to turn it on you will see that the spotlight pops up you can turn it around and stuff you can turn to the left you can turn to the right you can even make it go upwards and downwards so this is really amazing amazing stuff this is such a realistic beautiful thing now this game is seriously on another level of realism the cars will even make sound if you hit the tires on a sidewalk and stuff so this is just insanely beautiful now one thing i forgot to mention is the fact that if you crash a car in a particular speed you will actually end up breaking the car so now let me prove this to you by crashing my beautiful crown vic oops my tires just kind of broke down a little bit so as you can see we just crashed and it didn't go as bad as i thought it would so we simply had some smoke come out here through the engine but you can actually get the airbags to pop off and all these different things if you drive too crazily and crash into someone and if you drive too fast you can actually die and this happened to me in a recent video where i did a sheriff's patrol in the game in which i crashed into a criminal and i died i lost my life on the spot <laughs> so for the tasers you actually might not know how to use them but it's pretty simple you simply hold hold your little taser you press g and it will pop up like this you can even turn on a flashlight on this little thing by pressing l and to fire it yeah you basically just press the normal fire button which you would have used to fire a normal weapon now i think there are two different tasers within the game so one looks a bit different than the other which to me is really cool so for the police you should also know that there is a booking place here in which you see this huge p on the wall you head inside and you're gonna be able to drop off people into custody here so to your right you're gonna see the holding cells and this is where you're gonna be putting all your prisoners that you catch lacking outside now before putting them in there you want to go up here to this computer because this is where you book your prisoners in however you need a prisoner for this 
supposed to work. Here you can also take a few pictures of them, you know, the casual mug shots. Now I also want to mention that the game is in very early stages and will soon close down, but not for good, but for roughly a month. Now the reason for this is simply because the game isn't fully finished yet. You will have to expect bugs and lag when playing the game because the game hasn't been fully optimized yet, but so far the game is looking great. Now you might have noticed that not all the features work in game either, so you can see here it says that I'm unemployed right now, which I'm obviously not, and you might notice that there are only two teams, which might be a little boring, but for the time being that's completely fine considering the fact that they will add EMS and fire departments soon. Now along with that we got CHP and a few other departments that will also be added to the game, which will make this the best roleplay experience on Roblox. And how do I know this? Well, I've done a few roleplays in it and I already feel the realest and everything. Now that's it for my boring talks. Go play the game before they close it down for a month. And hope you all thought this video was helpful in a way. And I hope to see you in the future within this game. Leave some comments down below what you think of it. And also leave some comments down below for the developers to see in which you give ideas, etc. Have a great day all. See you in the next vid. Have an awesome day. Bye.